teenage boy is headed to trial in adult court charged with shooting and wounding several people following last year's Juneteenth celebrations in Milwaukee. Our Bill Miston explains we've learned the teen identified himself in the video after his arrest. Why did police show up at his address that day, being June 19th Same of 2023? Objection. 16-year-old Arnez Lee King's defense attorney tried to point to one shooting victim who's seen on video with a gun as well, who didn't pick her client out of a lineup. Who identifies him before he gets arrested? Mr. Parsons identifies him from the video, and then he gets arrested and he identifies himself on the same video. That video is a key piece of evidence about what happened that June afternoon. Police say a fight between girls escalated when boys got involved. Prosecutors say Lee King is the one in this video in a black hoodie with blue writing. He stumbles out of a fight and out of view of the camera. Then another boy pulls out a gun and fumbles with it. Prosecutors say Lee King fired his gun at least four times into the group. Six people were shot. Some were seriously wounded. And did he in fact identify himself as the man in this uh, photo? He did. At the time, Lee King was on electronic monitoring for a gun arrest in Wauwatosa a couple of months before the shooting. He has a juvenile felony conviction for an armed robbery at age 13. Did his GPS coordinates, in fact, put him at the time at the scene of the shooting at the time of the shooting? It did. And was supposed to be under adult supervision at the time. The case was originally brought in juvenile court. A judge waived it into adult court in February. Lee King entered not guilty pleas on the charges, and he's due back in court next month for a status hearing. In Milwaukee, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News.